hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so as you understand this video i'm going to cover all the 28 autonomous engineering colleges in karnataka and these are one of the top options available in those specific cities so i will first start from the belagavi region right so belagavi region has basically three autonomous college so first autonomous college is called sdm college of engineering and technology which is in dharwad right so this is one of the best option available and it has shown the excellent placement trend so this is good option the, then there is a Basashara Engineering College which is also called BEC Bagalkot and one of the old and established college which is also an autonomous college available. Then there is KLS Gokti Institute of Technology in Balagam, right? Which is also one of the good option in terms of placements overall and students can go for this if you are from North Karnataka. Now I will talk about the second region which is called the Kalburgi region. So in the Kalburgi region there are only two two autonomous engineering colleges first one is called balari institute of technology and management which is in, located in balari district and it is also an good option for students who are part of that region and the second option is pda college of engineering right which is located in kalaburgi itself so these two are the better options available in the region and they are both of them autonomous engineering college no, I will go to the third region, right, which is also a bigger region, Mysore region and includes Mysore and Mangalore colleges, right. So, it includes both Mysore and Mangalore. So, first college on the list is Malnad College of Engineering in Hassan and this is also an old and established college. The second option is PES College of Engineering Mandya. So, this is not part of PES University that though that is a different group that is a private university but this is same people education society but they have a different college which is autonomous which is affiliated with VTU. So, this is decent option there and the third was NITE but now NITE has become a deemed university. So, NITE does is not affiliated to VTU anymore and it is being considered as a separate deemed university with a different application process like NUCAT exam. But good news is that the, there is, was reduction in one uh, college which was a autonomous college but now there is an increase of one more college. So now MITE which is Mangalore Institute of Technology and Engineering which is located in Mangalore has become an autonomous college and this is also a decent option for students who are based out of Mangalore region. Now moving to further other colleges in the Mysore and the Mangalore region you have NI Mysore then the National Institute of Engineering in Mysore and they have two campus North Campus and South Campus but do, both are part of the same NI group and autonomous college so you can definitely take it as a highest choice and then St. Joseph College of Engineering in Mangalore is also autonomous college and also shown a good placement uh, you know with respect to placement it is also a good option so you can definitely go for this college also and this is also a Christian minority college so it does not accept comedic exam now talking about the other colleges which are autonomous in the Mysore Mangalore region so you have Vidya Vardhaka College of Engineering in Mysore decent option and then you have Sahadri College of Engineering and Management in Mangalore which is also an autonomous college so those two are also good option in terms of placements and so total seven autonomous colleges are there in the Mysore Mangalore region now talking about the Bangalore region and the last region which has got the highest number of autonomous college and the best options to study through both of KCET and the Comedic mode of admission. So first college on the list is Siddh Ganga Institute of Technology. So Tumkur is considered part of the Bangalore region itself. So Tumkur SIT Tumkur is a very good option in terms of placement and students can definitely go for that. Now you see the second college which is RV College of Engineering obviously the number one college in Karnataka in terms of cutoff as well as placements and it is also an autonomous engineering college. The third is the Nitti Minakshi Institute of Technology in Bangalore and MIT which has shown a decent placement over last few years and also good option to consider if in the top 15 colleges in Karnataka by placement. Next is BMS College of Engineering in Bangalore which is also an excellent option and almost similar to RB College placement. It has also shown an excellent trend of salaries every year on year. 
so that is also good option then the next college on the list is dr ambedkar institute of technology in bangalore which is also an autonomous engineering college moving further uh, there is another engineering college called nagarjuna college of engineering and technology so this is also an established college from last 30 plus years and this has also got autonomous college status long term back so this is also an option for students with the lower ranks if you get the lower ranks but you still want to study in autonomous college this is very located very close to bangalore near airport right so it is almost like a bangalore the next college is very popular college again dayanand sagar college of engineering in bangalore and this is basically kumar swami layout campus this is not dayanand sagar academy and this is not dayanand sagar university this is the main college of dayanand sagar group located in kumar swami layout and that is the autonomous engineering college affiliated to vtu now we'll move to the next college which is new horizon college of engineering in bangalore it is also an autonomous college of a, autonomous engineering college and decent option in bangalore from long time so this is a sindhi minority college so it does not accept comedy case score but it accept another exam which is called keralam pacet which is karnataka religious and minority group of colleges which they conduct another exam and they ex they take the students admission so they accept only kcet and krlm cet they don't accept comet k exam now the next college on the list is a similar college which is called mbj college of engineering and this is basically a tamil minority college so they accept kcet exam but they don't accept comet k exam Uh, and they accept the another exam called KRLM CET, which I mentioned, which also accepted by New Horizon College, which is there on the sheet. Moving further, and again, MS Ramayya Institute of Technology, which is a very popular engineering college, and it's also an autonomous engineering college in Bangalore, and it has got the similar placements uh, as in the top five colleges in Karnataka, right? So you can definitely consider that also. And then there is another college called Global Academy of Technology, GAT College, Bangalore, which is based out of Kangiri, uh, which is also an autonomous college for. in a few years now so this also has shown a decent placement trend and can be taken if your ranks are medium it is not very high or it is not very in between 20000 ranks you can get csc in the other branches now moving to the next uh, is the bms institute of technology in bangalore which is part of the bms group but the separate college based out of yelanka uh, very close to niti minakshi so this college also is basically an autonomous college Uh, the other college on the list is 13 number is bnm institute technology bnm it in bangalore and uh, it is also an autonomous college located based out of south bangalore and recently last year three more engineering colleges have been given the autonomous status right so these are the three new entries which has started from last year then and sagar academy of technology and management dsatm in bangalore has become an autonomous and it has showed the decent placement trends also and it has common placement with then and sagar college of engineering the next college is uh, sjb institute of technology in bangalore that also has become a autonomous college from 2023 batch now and i have covered videos of all these colleges and sjb it also has shown a decent placement right and you can consider it right under 20000 ranks and the last college which i am covering from bangalore is cambridge institute of technology which also got the autonomous status last year and it has also shown a decent a placement trend so these are the colleges which if you are medium rank and you still want in bangalore these are the colleges you can opt for and are also having the autonomous status thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates